Good morning. We are going to be getting after it a little bit. We're going to start taking all of this work that we've done with lines and adapt it to data and some real world situations instead of just living in this boring old delta math graph situation, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to do what's called curve fitting. And you will also see it called regression. For today, we're doing it with linear, but we're actually going to dabble and do it with a bunch of stuff all year. So the essential question, what I want you thinking about for today as you're taking your notes, is how can lines and their equations, right, so we're looking at graphs and equations, represent different data sets. In other words, if I give you a bunch of points, what are some things we can say about them, okay? Points that mean something, right? We can say lots of things about points on a graph, but now we're going to give some weight to our points. So three kind of key vocab words. The first is correlation, and correlation is strength and direction of a relationship between variables. So strength and direction of a relationship between two variables. So let's break this apart a little bit. Strength, when we say strength, we literally mean strong or weak. Is it strongly correlated? We may also see perfect. So I probably should have led with perfect. But strong, weak, and then perfect. Direction. Direction just means positive or negative. And that's really tied to what is kind of the slope doing. Is your data going up, data going down? Are they positively correlated or negatively correlated? When we do this, we can write what's called the equation of the line of best fit. And that's just a line that best captures our data. It's the best representation of the data that we're looking at. Okay. And then the correlation coefficient, first of all, is assigned the letter R. And the correlation coefficient, it measures, I want to say it measures the correlation, because that's what it does. It tells you how strong it is, and it tells you the direction it is. But specifically, it measures how well data fits a model. It is measured on a scale from negative 1 to positive 1. And since it's a number, it might look something like this. R equals 0.93. That would be very strong and very positive. If it was something like this, R equals negative 0.84. That's strong-ish, but negative. And let's say it was something like R equals 0.25. That's super weak, almost no correlation, but still positive. So we got to look at the number and the sign and almost kind of interpret them differently, right? So if I come down here, let's run through this example real quick before we get too wild and crazy. The first thing is our correlation, okay? Well, in order to do that, here's what I'm going to do to start. I am going to draw in the line of best fit. And I want a line that best represents my data. Is this the perfect line? No. A calculator can give you a perfect line. Okay? But that's my line of best fit. My lob. Okay? And with this lob, 
we can say some things. We can talk about the correlation. I'm going to say this is pretty strong. I'm going to say it's positive. Then I can, I'm going to estimate R. Again, a calculator will tell us exactly what it is. I know it's positive. It's pretty strong. I want to say it's about 0.9. It's pretty strong. I feel good about this. My dad is pretty close to that line, right? So just kind of being aware of that. Now, when you estimate R, we're just trying to get idea of whether it's strong and positive, right? That's the biggest thing. Um, like I said before, your calculator, when we do this on a calculator, can find R. And it goes through a ton of intense math, and if you want to know more, you should take stats someday. But for us, we're going to trust the process, trust our calculator, and let that do the thinking for us. So here's just some intro on regression. There is a delta math that goes with, and I know you're going to crush it. So have a fabulous day. Be good.